Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I hope everyone is doing okay. Okay. People are doing this thing on YouTube where they ask their followers a question and then the, the followers respond. And I thought, wow, I like this idea because I would like to hear what my followers have to say on certain items. So I am going to start tonight and the first, um, the first question is, do you think the Johnny Depp wins defamation suit case against Amber Heard fair? And do you think this case is ushering in something worse? Okay, so we'll start the ushering in something worse thing first. Okay, on... Uh, February 24, 22, Russia invades Ukraine. About this time, uh, March 28th, Will Smith slaps Chris Rock during the live Oscars. So there's this big ruckus, you know, here we've got this war, but no, we've got Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Okay, now we, we're in the midst, there's this, this conflict going on. And now we have this defamation uh, case of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. So do I think that, that the defamation suit was fair? Yes, I think she did intend to um, make him look bad. But what I don't think was one bit fair was the financial settlement. Furthermore, I think her lawyer should be disbarred, and I will tell you why. Okay, Johnny Depp hit Amber Hurt in the eye. I think she did. he did that to her first. And she is an aging star, 36 years old, and she has to rely on her beauty to work. Right? And she's got this nut of a husband who hits her in the head. Right? Okay, that's bad enough. And then I would say she she did some stuff to him to retaliate. And he, I do not believe this was a, mar a marijuana-fueled fighting that went on between those. And that's not the point. The point is that... Johnny Depp makes $300 million per movie, per movie, and he's made lots of them. Amber Heard was a 36-year-old aging star worth $8 million. Okay, so now let's do the math. You know, I went to college for years, but you don't have to go to college to really understand that this was a bad scene, what happened to her. This was not fair, okay? This was less than fair. All right, here we have it. Amber Hurt had $8 million. Then she was awarded a $7 million divorce, which she gave to charity. And they made sure to mention, you haven't given that money yet, have you? You've just pledged it. Then Johnny Depp was awarded $2 million. So eight plus two is 10 million and her settlement amount was 10 million, which leaves her with zero and supposedly the most hated woman in Hollywood. How is that fair? And does this crap issue in something worse? Like is the other shoe about to drop? And I would like to hear your guys' comment on this. That is the worst, that is the worst divorce settlement. I mean, you know, I'm divorced and I, and it was ugly. They always are, otherwise you probably wouldn't divorce them. But ending up with zero? That, that's, that's not right. Okay, so now tonight is the soup challenge. Okay, so. What I'm doing is I'm doing all kinds of cheat meals 
in case we end up with zero. Poor Amber, she's gonna be eating salad and water. It's wrong on every level, okay? Buyer beware with him. Okay, the soup challenge number one, strengthen your food storage and save money on groceries. So I started out, I bought potatoes marked down. So I had potatoes, celery, carrots, I chopped some dry onion, here it is, and some garlic. And I put that in there and I boiled that. And then when the potatoes and carrots were done, I had bought this. So I chopped some of these cauliflower and broccoli and I put that in there. And when that was done, I added some evaporated milk and straight, not diluted, to equal about the same amount as the water in there. And then I added a couple tablespoons of butter. Then I made some dumplings. And these are just Betty Crocker dumplings, but I really like this dumpling uh, recipe because uh, you mix it up. And what I did is I put the milk in the middle of the mixture of flour and everything and I just wet the, wet the dough in case I had too much flour to mix up perfect. Then I, my, my dumplings would have looked better, but my a lid stuck to the top. The dumplings, the dumplings plumped up and my uh, pan lid uh, stuck to them, but they taste really good. So I had celery, potato, celery, carrots, then I added the, the green vegetables, milk, butter, top of dump, dumplings, and um, my calculations were all screwed up. It took me a, fi a while to figure out that she had come up with nothing. But you didn't donate that $7 million. You just pledged it. Okay, so you know I've been making some pretty cheap food, right? So I have an idea of hamburger, chicken, and frozen fish. That's not so bad. Here is the dumpling recipe. And if you let your dumpling set for a couple minutes before you drop them on, then that gives a, a baking powder a chance to activate the dumplings. And uh, I had enough, it made a lot. So I thought probably I can make four little biscuits, and I did, here they are. Let me open them and see if they turn out good. Uh, yeah, they did, look. Okay. So, um, I think it was last month I bought uh, various um, fish fillets. Two of them was about $4. Uh, these are good fish fillets. I bought them at Grocery Outlet. And I just baked them at 400 And I have some tartar sauce. Okay. I'm a Johnny Depp fan. I just don't think the financial settlement was fair. Not at all. Her, her attorneys were probably fans. <laughs> okay. I had a terrible time when I got a... A divorce because my husband's lawyer was my lawyer's best friend and I knew that because I cut his lawyer's hair and I used to call him the my husband and I used to call his lawyer the fat F neither one of us liked him okay and he had a heart attack in the middle of the divorce, and I'd like to have never gotten divorced. All I wanted was custody of my son. I said, just 
Give me nothing like poor Amber, but I'm taking my son. Otherwise, we're going to fight until the rest of your life. Okay, let me taste this. The dumplings are really good. Look, here's one. I would like to know if anyone on that jury has ever been hit in the head by her husband. I would like to know if anyone on that jury was a nurse. Hitting someone in the eye is not nice. And I have some cookies. Now, these were expensive. These are really good tea cookies that I bought for $12.99. So, let's see. Do I have anything else? Yes. Okay, so now we want to stop spending, but we still have to have food. So, we're going to look into our house and see what we have and say, do we have water? Milk, you need three servings a day, eight ounces, juice, soda, and tea. Do I have cereal? If not, I'm going to go to the 99 cent only store and look for boxes of 99 cents um, cereal and buy one every now and then. Shelf stable milk, I usually get that at Dollar Tree. Get the whole milk in case you ever want to make cheese. Soup with crackers and cheese, which brings me to the markdown shopping today. What I was looking for was uh, cheese, and I did, I found it. This is $11 cheese that I got for $2, and I like to eat cheese and crackers and soup. And then I bought this uh, ham, 15 pieces for $2. And I bought two of these boxes of, of protein bars. Uh, the lemon is good, but I like the assortment. So once you get the, so 15 pieces of lunch meat, you can cut those up, fry them with eggs, put them in top ramen, make sandwiches. I like wraps. I get tortillas with mayonnaise, mustard, uh, ham and cheese, and I roll them up with a little lettuce. So I got two boxes of the Nutty Bars, and for $11.01, Saving $39.18. So basically, once again, $39.49, around $50 worth of food for $11. So, okay, lunch sandwich. That's why I bought the ham. I love ham and cheese. Small lunch is sandwich, a small fruit, a small vegetable, or chips. So do I have bread? I've been buying the bread all week, 50% off meat. Okay, when you buy meat, you need about four ounces for dinner, or five. So you can easily figure four, four, uh, four ounces is a pound. So you can easily figure out how many pounds you need. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, and rice. Do I have potatoes, sweet potatoes, and rice? Vegetables, canned or fresh. Bread, butter, and milk. Tea, cookies, fruit bread. Today I bought two packages of walnuts because when you make the fruit bread, if you add uh, walnuts, that's good. And cakes. And I've been making the cakes. I've been making the cakes, individual cakes. And so if you get used to mixing things up, you figure how many people you have and you make just enough food and you don't have any wasting, no leftovers, everybody is happy. They should be disbarred. Okay, you guys, see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, please comment, and God, and God forbid, and God bless you all.